I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by CoinMiles.io, the best place to earn Bitcoin rewards when you spend your filthy fiat online. If you're not using it, you are leaving sats on the table, shop online, or get gift cards for all your favorite vendors, including retail, travel, apparel, home supplies, groceries, and more. Hit the link below and earn 25,000 sats just for signing up. This is a shift in the focus of an energy company. You know, when I first get to people in the energy business, I say to them, like, all the stuff that you hear in the Bitcoin community, like, you need to be taking excess energy and converting it into Bitcoin. So I'll give you an example that I use all the time. Power company that is based here that sells into ERCOT, into the grid in Texas, like 4% of the time, they have to pay to have power taken from them. It's actually more economical than shutting their operation down. You've got you know, big companies like Entergy who spin these huge turbines, same thing. You know, at times they have to shut those turbines down, which is really, really hard on equipment when you're constantly turning stuff on and off. It's like your starter in your car. So it's really a way for the energy companies to get their brains around it. You know, I just explain it like, look, it's a way for you to monetize every molecule, right? Like it's accretive to your business model just to take what's left over. But what I hope that they will eventually see and where I see the conversation shifting is you have access to, to resources of any kind, whether it's, you know, cow methane or landfill methane or, or, you know, minerals that are being extracted from the earth, right? Like you should direct it to Bitcoin. It's not super obvious right now because when most people that uh, most energy companies are very comfortable with the socialized ideas of forward curves and pricing things off of forward curves. And what I mean by that is um, in the futures market in energy, it's it's priced. You, the futures are priced by month monthly and you can get someone to make you a market 10 years out. So, you know, that really allows you a lot of, um, you know, economic incentive to uh, mitigate risk. Well, in Bitcoin, we don't have that yet. Uh, so when you look at a project that's, you know, you've got a Bitcoin mining project and you look at the Bitcoin forward price, there is no 10 year curve. It is like maybe you can get somebody to make you a market three months, um, but it's going to be pretty flat to where it is today. And when you factor in the having and the reward being cut in half, like the math doesn't work, right? Like that dog doesn't hunt. So everybody just goes, yeah, that doesn't work. I don't, I'm just going to keep drilling holes. This is what I understand. I'm just going to keep doing this. But of course we probably all, if they're on your channel on YouTube, then like we get it, right? Like the jig's up. We know Bitcoin's going to be a multi-million dollar asset. Plug that shit in now, get those miners running because now or never, guys, there's only 21 million and we're most the way there. So.